strictly Victor Rose ailing Ellis Chomps on a snack in full stage makeup while pro Giovanni Pernis beams as they depart tour rehearsals. Latest Strictly Come Dancing 2021 news on Series 30 judges, dancers and contestants here. They've been spotted on a number of boozy nights on the town. Dot. Yet Rose Ailing Ellis and Giovanni proved it was not all play, as they were seen leaving rehearsals for the Strictly Live Tour in London on Thursday. The Strictly Come Dancing winners, aged 27 and 31 respectively, looked happy with their session as they departed, with Rose seemingly having undergone a dress rehearsal as she sported lashings of makeup including dramatic eyeshadow. Rose was showing off her pretty features with the stage makeup yet kept the rest of her look low-key in forest green trousers. Dot. She kept out the cold in a below-knee-length black padded coat and chomped on a snack following her dance workout with the Italian hunk. Giovanni meanwhile went for a smart black coat with a grey rucksack as he departed the session with his new best pal in tow. Dot. The duo have formed a firm friendship since appearing on Strictly and spoke on this morning this week about their victory on the program. Dot. Speaking about winning the show, Rose said, I was speechless. When it actually happened, you sort of imagine what you would say and what you would feel like, but when it happened I didn't know what to say, I was so speechless, I couldn't even breathe. Holly asked Giovanni what it was like to win for the first time after seven years and he said, all the time, it's been nice because you reach the final. But winning has always been my dream. The whole experience, the whole journey has been phenomenal. That was the cherry on the cake. Philip asked Giovanni if he slept in the bed with his glitter ball trophy and Giovanni revealed. Yes, oh my god yes, I was reaching for it for seven years and in the end, when I got it, I put it on my pillow and was like, hi. On this morning, Rose, who is deaf, also detailed her battle to have sign language made into a registered language. Dot. Speaking to Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield, she said, it's been recognized as a language, but it's not beneficial. That becomes such a big problem. Sign language needs to be more appreciated. It's got such a rich history. Dot. Rose discussed the struggles many deaf people face, as she went on. I have heard so many stories about deaf people going to a doctor appointment and they ask for an interpreter and they don't refer them an interpreter. So they end up needing their child to translate, or a family member. That shouldn't be. Because it's not an official language, we can't do anything about it. She explained how she is getting the ball rolling, saying, I've called Rosie Cooper the MP, so I think she's going to start to debate. It's past the first stage but it has to go through the second stage at the end of January. If it goes through, and then they have a third one, it will become an official language.